Oh, this is a quick tutorial to explain Digo. Digo is a social networking site where you can share and bookmark a whole lot of articles that relate to a particular topic, i.e. our six topical issues. So I'm going to quickly show you how to get onto it, um, install an extension, um, and then show you how to um, bookmark and annotate and then share to a group, which is an important thing that I think will be valuable for us as legal studies teachers. So when you get to DWIGO, you get here, you need to sign up. Now you don't need to pay anything, you just need to go for the um, the free, free plan. Um, as you can see, I've already got a plan, I've been using this for about three or four years now. Obviously I'm going to go straight, straight to sign in, and that's what I'll do. And the first thing that comes up is my library. And you can see in a second once it decides to come up that I've been fairly busy um, collecting articles. Um, and you can see that they're relevant ones to our topical issues. So how do we collect them? And how do we then share them and in, in a collaborative way? So the first thing you need to do is to go and get an extension. And when you're here in Tools, it takes you to this page. Um, I've got both of these things on here, but the most common one is this Digolet one, which I think would be most useful. It, it goes with all browsers. Some of you may not use Chrome, so if you go to install, simply what you do, you drag this. You can see mine's already up there. You just drag it into your bookmark like that. And once you've got there, um, you then have this thing here that comes open where you can bookmark, bookmark and so on. Let me show you how to use that. Um, I found that this particular um, piece on on the um, Tasmanian Anti-Discrimination Commissioner um, that's a bit old now but it can, I can still show you how it works so you must always for every time you use this product um, get this up so um, I might decide that this is a very important um, part I highlight it um, I can choose the colour but it doesn't really matter. Um, if I want to say, well, that's something um, pretty useful, um, I can make a note, um, whatever you like. And the, the beauty about this is that my notes, or whether I do them or my students or indeed you, um, they'll all be um, saved in the cloud. Right, don't get put off by the cloud, but it's a good way to go because you can access anything from anywhere. So now I'm ready to bookmark it. So I bookmark this thing, and I can make another comment there. Um, but importantly, what I want us to be able to do is to go to the groups. Now I've set these up, and for those people that want to use it, I will invite you via email to um, participate in any of these groups. Obviously, this is Anti Discrimination Laws in Tasmania 2017, so I click on that. Um, I can make another comment if I like, um, don't worry about all this other stuff. Um, this is private to our group. It's important to put tags in there. Um, for later for later use. Okay, anti-discrimination Tasmania. I'm save that now. And when I go back to my um, library, I'll click up there like that, go to back my library. You'll see what's happened in my library. This is just my personal library. Uh, you, you can see that I've got that thing there. Um, the other bits and pieces, I, I'll put that there. Okay, this is interesting as my note, and other bits and pieces that I have highlighted. It's not coming up as, as well as I would like because it's a MP3 thing. I must have collected something else when I highlighted it. But importantly, um, this has also been saved to a group. And this is where it gets powerful in my view. And this is the point of me being here uh, explaining what goes on. You can see that I've created these groups. I've essentially created these groups for uh, my students. And it's quite easy to do. You create a group, go for that process. You can see that I've got them all there. Um, the group that I saved this last um, article to is this one here. I'll click on that and you can see that it's actually in there as well. And you can see that um, I have been doing some other work here. Um, 
that's just a bit of gobbledygook because I didn't highlight it properly before but you can see all these other um, articles that I put in um, if you want to go to the back to original site uh, you click on that if you just want to see a summary of what happened uh, it's there you can see all I've done with these I've bookmarked them I've not made any annotations or anything like that so if I just click on that one there the one that I um, collected yesterday um, there we have all the details now if I wanted to now once I have um, found the site or somebody may have somebody else in this particular group who, who's, a, who's been invited to this group has made a um, a discovery if you like or found a good article I can still annotate this so I go back to my Degolet it comes up um, and I might th think that this section 18 okay assuming that I think that's a very important bit of information um, I would highlight that I can put a sticky note to it to make a um, a, a comment Cinema to 18C for the um, federal legislation. Okay, so I can post that so it becomes, so you can see how that comes up. Um, so you can annotate it, I can annotate it, um, your students can annotate, anybody can. And that's where I see the, the, the value of this um, tool. Um, we can annotate, we can put notes. Um, importantly, um, what we can do, um, we can go to the library and all the stuff that you've collected but the value in this tool is how we collectively um, add things to it. So um, that's the article that's on my library but importantly um, in the group it's also there. Okay, So I've, I've made I've made that highlight um, and there's also a, um, a comment. Okay, Hopefully that's been uh, useful to you. There's other tutorials on Digo but they tend to be um, all encompassing and they talk about a lot of information that I don't think is useful for us. So hopefully it's been useful and hopefully we can share and collaboratively to build up a bank of articles and resources and keep each other on our toes and informed. Thanks for listening guys, hopefully it will work out for us.